One, two, three, four, five. Greetings and salutations. I am the Raven. This is Avery Attorney. Yes, we did complete Worry Endings last time. As you notice, we have completed the ending for case 4A. However, returning with me this time is J.K. Lantern. I thought we were playing Dragon Quest V. What? Huh? Late in your own time. <laughs> Next up is Star Princess HLC. So, if Falcon and Bomart had a baby, would it be a bird, a lion, or a griffin? Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's getting too deep. I even have that question in the first place. <laughs> Next, we have Sirot. You know. I have answers prepared for that, but I don't think anyone wants to hear them. <laughs> I kind of do, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that you mention it. Not in front of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That says enough. And as we've already heard, last but definitely at least, our. <coughs> Uh, red God uh, Onion, and most adorable, Viola. Hmm. Gonna move on? Yes, I am red now. Da -da -da. I also have popcorn. Yay. We're ready! <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and as we said, in, I believe in the last, last video is, yes, you see here, case 4A, case 4B, case 4C. We are going to do them. There they are, Miss America. <laughs> I'll ask one more time. What is your name? What is your name? What is your quest? What is the flight speed of an unladen sparrow? I actually have the math for that on an apron. Oh god. It was a birthday gift, like, <laughs> eight years ago. Somewhat of an irony, given the fact that last year I got you an apron. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with the police? The Royal Guards? Speak, bird. Um... I'm your DoorDash person. I'm here with the KFC. Did you want original <laughs> recipe or extra crispy? <laughs> right. Madam Lamar, we've been here all day and he simply ain't talking. He didn't react to coaxing, didn't react to torture, didn't react to a cracker. Maybe it's time to, you know, administer some justice. Maybe. One moment while I turn my speakers down so you don't blast my earbuds out. Oops. <laughs> my bad. Justice. <laughs> that word. Rock! First or finally crows. Sorry, I had to let the cat in. <laughs> you want to know who I am? Fine. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. I mean, Severin Kokoriko. That's what I meant. That's what I meant, right? <laughs> Lawyer? Prosecuting attorney, something like that? <laughs> Alright, well, been a pleasure, but we have to have had spies running around our base of operations now, can we? So, without further ado, I hereby sentence you to 12 Bloody yeah. Mary. Wait a minute, Pierre. This is no ordinary spy. Because he's a person, cuter. Because mm -hmm. I have buckets of fried chicken? No, because he's the bastard who condemned my father ten years ago. 
Whoa! You sure? I had my suspicions and I saw a smug air of arrogance. He's holier than thou, glare. His pretentious cockamamie behavior. <laughs> but now that I know his main occupation, there's no doubt. Ellipses. Do you remember, huh? Bird? Do you remember the trial of a homeless lion in the winter of 1835? What was your father's name? Jean. Jean Beaumont. What were his crimes? His only crime was trying to feed a starving child. He took a handful of vegetables from a grocery stand. Not out of greed, but out of sheer desire to see me survive. But he was seen by a policeman. Another arrogant cockerel like yourself, actually. So my father was thrown in jail. He was dragged to court. I had the privilege of watching the proceedings from the stands. Oh, and then I realized I... Had, uh, had... Volume, volume. I remember your sharp words. This man is a thief. This man is a scoundrel. He deserves the harshest possible punishment for his crimes. You didn't care about the consequences. You didn't care about why my father did what he did. All you cared about was fulfilling your lust to see a criminal behind bars. My father received a sentence of five years. He died on his third. Do you remember him? Nope. Can't say I do. <laughs> Definite. Look, I... I do a lot. I've slept since then. No, I don't <laughs> remember your father. <laughs> <laughs> you run. Cannot. We're all just insects to you, aren't we? Who cares if a child starves on the street as long as you put enough criminal behind bars to meet your quota? Am I right? You, your silence speaks volumes of your guilt. Severin Kokoriko, you've been tried by the public of the Second Republic. We have found you guilty on the count of conspiracy, of the murder of the croc monsieur, and of the murder of my father, Jean Beaumont. Oh, I've been found guilty, have I? Mademoiselle, if you want to shoot me so you can fulfill your revenge fantasies, then by all means, shoot me. But don't pretend for a moment that the mob resembles a court of justice in any form. Court of justice. Now there's a contradiction. Bird, you know nothing of justice. Fair Remus, read this man his last rites. Pleasure, time madam. to say goodbye to Kokoriko soon. Uh, Falcon, we, we have to make a move. Time to speak up. Sing, bird, sing. Uh, I oh. feel like if I do nothing, something terrible will happen. I am going to do something. Otherwise, I might have a desire to wear a really? weird-ass helmet. I, I didn't expect that. Huh. 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 That actually worked. Back. I'm I'm gonna come in too. You, you need backup. No, I need you to get out of here. Go find the police, the royal guard, the pizza guy, anybody. I'll stall for time. Get the fisherman. 
I, I'm not a fisherman, god damn it. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely get the fisherman. He's the only one who can save us now. <laughs> mm. Falcon? What do you mean, the fisherman? Uh, okay. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Where is that blasted fisherman these days, anyway? <laughs> Do you have any last words? Just pull the damn trigger and be done with it. Sorry, uh, my brother messaged me something in the middle of that. WAIT! <laughs> Wait, 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 hang on, hold on. Time out. <laughs> He's right, this is a terrible trial. Oh my There's God. no evidence, no defense, no examination of the facts, no Kaiser rolls, no ketchup, no shenanigans, <laughs> no goings on. This is terrible, this is awful, we're doing it all wrong. We need to fix <laughs> this. You've dragged off a man off the streets and decided his fate based purely on your own prejudice and whims. <laughs> what the cluck does this bird brain think he is? I am this man's defensatory attorney. I can't even, I don't even know how to pronounce the word. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I am JJ Falcon, Fist of Justice. JJ, uh, what, what are you doing? Ah, defense attorney. This man's a loony! Mm. Or a spy. I've seen this monsieur eavesdropping on our conversations before. Can't trust him. Of course you can trust me, I'm drunk! <laughs> Everyone, please hear me out! <laughs> oh. What do we appeal since, to? I since honestly we're... don't think it matters who you appeal to, but you only get to appeal to one. Yeah. It might, but... For what we're doing, it definitely doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this here, Fontaine, we've only met on a couple of occasions, but you seem like an intel- <laughs> I couldn't finish that sentence. <laughs> you sure you want to go with that? I mean, <laughs> I could be reasonable. Surely you can see something wrong with dragging someone off the streets and executing them without trial. Well, all I want to see is a better France, Monsieur. A France with actual liberty for all, and not what you highfalutin lawyer types think it means. Yeah, yes, liberty and mozzarella sticks. I'm not big on <laughs> violence against, you know, the sentient type folk. But I have no qualms with the traitor or two dying to achieve that goal. Or to be in the qualifier at the moment. It's all means to an end, you know. Do you see, Falcon? This man's death is inevitable. For the good of France and in the name of justice, he must be killed. Uh. Justice. <laughs> There's that word again. Madame, I won't presume to know who you are, or what you stand for, or whether or not you believe food exists, but shooting <laughs> this man right now would not bring you justice. Also, don't tell Sparrowson that mozzarella sticks are real. I heard that! No, you didn't! <laughs> <laughs> It would only serve to satisfy your desire for revenge. 
Look, the last route was deadly serious. We're gonna make this as stupid as possible. You know what? Fair enough. Justice. Revenge. What's the difference? Um. I know. <laughs> I know rationality works. I'm not sure about the other ones. Rationality, madam. I, I just slipped into the wrong voice. Wow, I'm doing great today. <laughs> justice, justice is carried out on the basis of hard facts and logic. It isn't distracted by petty emotions, except when that's uh, beneficial to my case. Even putting aside my emotions, I can see the bird's guilt. Then this is your opportunity to prove it, madam. Show that you're a leader who acts with reason, not brute irrationality. Madam, surely you aren't entertaining the words of this heathen. He doesn't even believe food exists. Fine, Falcon. We'll play this your way. We shall have a formal trial for the murder of the croque monsieur. God damn it, this oh. is on the script! Oh hmm. boy, sandwich time! Excellent! Okay. Shall we head Shall we head back to my office and file the necessary papers? Don't take me a fool. You'll walk us right into a trap. We shall have the trial right here and now. Right here, right now. In the catacombs? It's a good place as any. I suppose we'll be needing a judge. Ah! Polly will volunteer! And uh, no thanks. Ah! We're trying to form a courtroom, not a circus. Can't it be both? <laughs> we are ah. never mixing circuses with courtrooms again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't hitting us something we're possibly doing down the line. Just go see how the security is doing, Piero. We don't even want any more spies wandering in. Oh god, why did I pick this guy? <laughs> Radio! Rock! If if DoorDash shows up with my poutine, please let me know. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a help, madam. I am a pious man, as you know, uh, as you know. Okay, Remus, you can be our judge. Yes. Um, it's not like your brother didn't have issues earlier. Okay. And I will lead the prosecution. Agree not to bring him up again. <laughs> what about the jury? With all due respect, I don't trust your peers to be impartial. Look around you. As we speak, we're being watched and judged by countless dead men and women. They shall be our jury. Oh god, you're a necromancer! <laughs> Necromancer! Necromancer! The dead, they're rising from the grave! I oh, know. Well, I mean, if it was a female line, would it be a necromancer? Hmm. Or a necromancer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That may work as a metaphor, but in practical terms. No, it's fine. Murray the evil skull is in the corner. Oh, that that's fine. God, that reminds me of a thing from uh, the Johannes Cabal series. <laughs> in practical terms, it is me you have to convince, Falcon. Convince me that this bird is not guilty. After all, I am the one who holds the Gun. See. Well, it looks like we are ready to get started. 
Ahem. <clears throat> this, the Tsayo of Seven Kakari. Kakario. Kakokokaro? He's on the way. Oh. He stands accused of a man known as Croc Mature in Cold Cold Lad. <laughs> this is not a thing to refer to as a crocodile or anything. Madame Beaumont, Beaumont, please explain the details of what happened. Hello, well. Last night at the stroke of midnight, two gunshots were heard on the Rue de Marmosets. Piero alerted us, and we managed to arrive before the police did. On the scene, I saw the man known as the Croc Monsieur, a good friend of ours, lying in a pool of his own blood. Standing on the body, I saw the murderer, Severin Kokoriko, still clutching his murder weapon. Am I to understand that you did not witness the crime firsthand, madame? That you only saw the aftermath? Oui, but one of us did happen to see the incident itself. Alright, Madame Amar found his ear pigeon running around our tunnels. I'm not a freaking pigeon. <laughs> He's ah, fine in any case. What say we boil him in oil? We we are not having we are not having Kentucky Fried Sparrowson. Oh no! Little help here. Oh no! With you. He he is my indentured servant. He carries my bags and stuff. Mostly this trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon, I trust that you do not have any other assistants lurking around the corner. Uh, Sparison, do I? <laughs> I hope not. Then take your lackey out of my sight. I'm not a lackey, okay. I'm a sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Falcon. What is it? They totally can't hear you right now. <laughs> hey, I saw someone else lurking out there. I think they're watching us from the shadows. Oh good, it's the DoorDash guy. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> the DoorDash guy? I don't know who guy. he is. But he was creepy, and he dropped this when he saw me. God damn it, another cultist. Well, right into the trash can it goes. Sure. <laughs> oh, look. Green Ink by Metasilvus. Oh. And on mm. that, it's time to bring this video to a close. Suspicion. <laughs> Suspicion. Suspicion and a bit of a cliffhanger because we've only just got started. I have been the Raven, this is Avery Attorney. Joining me has been Viola. Hi. I'm here. Sure. I've uh, just been watching. Sure what? I've, I've kind of been here this time. At least it wasn't Oops All Surat this time. <laughs> <laughs> Oops All Surat. <laughs> Star Princess HLC. I kind of want to burst into God to help the outcast from listening to this soundtrack. And, you fair enough. And finally, we have J.K. Lanson. It's not unusual to be loved <laughs> by anyone. <laughs> You know, I, I think I finally got the volume started so I can actually hear the music of the videos. Because either way, I'm still going to get copyright on not strike on this one. So Th This music <laughs> is public domain. It's fine. Should be. Yeah. Anyway, that is me. That's been them. This is me, every attorney, yet again. So until next time, peace out, people. Later. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.